Hey everybody, today at Mars House Hockey School we'll be kicking off our hockey stick handling series in English. As most of you know, I've done all my videos in German so far because I live and coach in Germany. But I've gotten a few requests to do some English videos. So make sure, if you like them, click on like or subscribe and I'll keep doing them in English as well as the regular ones in German. We're going to be starting off with the figure eight drill. This is my bread and butter drill, the first drill I ever did as a kid and the first drill I still do to warm up my hands. I'm going to show you three variations. Start with a basic variation. I have two pucks about a meter apart, my green biscuit, and I'm going to try to move the biscuit in two, maximum three fluid motions around the two black pucks. Once you can do it well on one side, make sure you also do your weaker side. Shift your body weight a little bit back and forth. And a couple of other key points. The most important thing here, when you're starting off, it's okay to go slow, but make sure these are two nice, smooth, motions around the pucks. We don't want to be chopping onions. And the other key point is try to keep your feet facing straight ahead. A lot of beginners when they start to drill they move their feet with the puck. It looks like this. But the thing is that I always have the puck only in front of my feet. But oftentimes in the game, we're going to have the puck here, might want to pass that way or I'm ready to shoot, or we're going to have the puck over here. Maybe I got a pass way over here or I want to play the puck on a backhand and my feet are still facing forward. So it's important to keep the feet square, facing straight ahead while I stick hand. So once you've got the basic variation down pat, you're feeling good about it, you can make it a little harder by adding a third puck. And we're going to be doing double eights then. Looks like this. Keep your bottom hand loose. You're going to have to go a little bit wider. You might have to slide a little bit. That's okay. And in the other way, I direction. harder for me it's my backhand side. So that's variation two. Now variation number three, we're going to take one of the pucks away, go back to our normal setup, but now what we're going to do, we'll be moving the puck in a figure eight pattern around the two regular hockey pucks and we'll be walking around in a circle while doing the figure eights. It looks like this. So what's going to happen sometimes, you might have to stretch out, get those loose hands, the puck might be way over here and my legs are going to be here. What some players tend to do, it's a little bit of work for your brain as well because when my hands are moving in a figure eight form, then my feet tend to want to do the same thing so they'll end up doing this and walking through or often for whatever reason, they'll be coming through and then all of a sudden they'll stop and move back the other way. It's not what we want to do. We want to try to move around the entire time in a fluid circle while doing the figure eights with our hands. Looks somewhat like this. That's the third level of the drill. It's a really fun one, good for the brain. That's it for the first episode of my hockey stick handling series at Marcel's Hockey School. This is my bread and butter drill. I hope you liked it. Have fun practicing. And see you next time at Marcel's Hockey School.